Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. But today we're back aboard the Legend and uh, we're on a fish. It's nighttime fishing, bluefin tuna. This one's hooked on a jig, fishing straight up and down. We call it yo-yo fishing. We're not very far from San Diego. We're outside around Oceanside, that area. Been fishing all night and we're picking away, trying to get a couple fish. And we got one going right here. So in this week's episode, this is what we're gonna be doing. We'll be night fishing a lot. And then hopefully during the day, we'll find some tuna too. Maybe even a yellowtail Dorado, you never know what to expect. But definitely, we're gonna be looking for some bluefin tuna. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. There he is. There he is. He's up on top. Oh man. He's going bye bye again. Coming down. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, man. Dan Hernandez, war fishing on the legend. Taking a break. It's that big fish, man. When he came out over there. Well, this guy got a little tired, so we grabbed his rod. Trying to get a little bit of line on his fish here. While he takes a break. That was line, 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 line. Lift, 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 one down, one more time, lift up, now. Lift, 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 lift. Oh, 
Dan Hernandez sport fishing on the legend. Yeah! <laughs> this is Carl. He just landed that tuna. And he was on it for a while. Wasn't fishing the traditional jig you do at nighttime. More of a yo-yo jig. And he got that fish. Beautiful fish. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Dan right. Hernandez sport fishing on the legend. Yeah, we're out here on the legend. The guys did a great job helping him with that fish. Oh, yeah. Joey pulled on awesome. for a little bit to help him when he was out of breath. And Thank you very much. We, awesome. we got the fish on the boat. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Legend. Go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the tackle box, we're going to go looking for tuna. And because we're going tuna fishing, you have to come prepared. You never know what you're going to catch out there. It could be that smaller school grade of fish, that 15 to 20 pound fish. Could be the bigger fish, you know, 40 to 60 pound fish. And then often lately, the last couple of years, we've been seeing that fish 100 to 300 pounds. So you gotta really be prepared for all of that. I know it sounds like a lot of gear, but if you don't have the gear, one good thing is all the landings now are renting out gear. So don't feel like you have to buy all this, but I wanna show you what you should bring with you. Now, just in case you get into like smaller yellowtail or dorado or that smaller tuna, school size fish, Something small like this will work out great for that type of fishing, but only that type of fishing only. That smaller fish, under 30 pounds, this works out fine. A 400 size reel, 25 pound mono, 25 pound fluorocarbon on top, nice medium to medium heavy rod, works out great. If you start getting into that bigger fish, and you will find those bigger fish, you need to really step up your gear. So something like this is a good basic rod and reel to have. Two-speed reel, again, with like 60 to 80 pound test line. Normally, I'm going to take a reel with 25 on the bottom end, another one with 30, another one with 40 or 50, another one with 60 or 80, and probably one more with 100. So this would be my next step up. But I always bring extra reels, too. So some of the reels I'm talking about, something like this would be great for that medium size, something a little bit bigger or the same size. You could go with like a two speed. This is a 16S, two speed works out good. And then for the larger fish, you wanna have at least a 30 or 50 two speed reel. And you wanna take this reel and pin it up on a, a rail rod, a heavier rod where you can fight the fish right on the rail. And that's what this is here. It's built and designed for just resting the rod on the rail turning the handle, taking advantage of the swell of the boat, and getting those bigger fish in. And I would match this up with the largest reel you got, and that's what you'd be using. Now, as far as hooks, you want to bring a selection of hooks. Remember, you never know what kind of bait they're going to have. Small anchovies, sardines, maybe mackerel. So have a selection of hooks from size 2 to size 3 -oh at least, maybe even a 5 -oh if you have some. And then for the artificials, you want to have some bigger jigs, the small um, four and a half ounce will work out good for the school size fish and those bluefin that are right up on the surface. The heavier ones like the 10 ounce magic metals for dropping down deep and nighttime fishing works out good. Make sure you also bring your flat falls and your knife jigs. You want to have a selection of those too. And they all have to be rigged up for tuna fishing. If you're not sure about having the right gear, make sure you call the landing. They have it all available there. Your local tackle shop will have it too. And on the boats, the guys will be glad to help you out, help you rig up your gear and show you what you need. But for this type of fishing, you have to bring a wide selection of gear. I know it sounds like a lot, but it is, and you have to be prepared. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs>
so much for letting me reel that in. Dan Hernandez, sport fishing on the, the legend. Yeah, baby. Oh, yellow fin. Nice yellow fin. Right there. Oh, here, here, come stand by me. Woo! Good going. Yeah. Sport fishing with Dan Hernandez. Sport fishing with Dan Hernandez. You got the it. Legend, best Woo. one around. Thanks, Captain. Nice. Don't block me down. Woo! Let me throw. Coming under. Coming under, guys. Coming under. Yellow fin. Another beautiful bluefin. Brandon with a beautiful bluefin tuna on the legend. Sport fishing with Dan Hernandez. We'll be Thank right you, back after this. Come over here and smile for the camera, Keith. Looks nice and pretty. Sport fishing with Dan hey, Hernandez on Zeus. the legend. Keith just nailed a nice one. On the legend. So we're on what you call a plunker bite. It's not wide open, but there's fish biting. Every few minutes we hook a fish. We got two going right here. This is Matthew, he's on a fish. We got another one back there. And that's that's all it is. You gotta work a bait, fish in an area. These bluefin are not wide open, but they are biting. They're hanging around the boat. So that's what we're doing. Put a good, lively, fresh fly bait on. And what's really worked this morning has been to change your hooks. Normally we'd fish like a 1-0 hook, 2-0 hook, these large sardines. Today we're fishing with the size two hook. So we got two fish going here. Let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Legend and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these fish we're catching today. This week in the galley, we're back with my boat, the Misueño. Standing next to me is an old friend, high school friend, Mike Davis, Chef Mike Davis, and also rock star. And what do you have in store for us, Mike? Well, you got some lovely bluefin tuna for me, man. And uh, you know what? I like to just keep it simple. Make simple really, really good, you know? And what I'm gonna do is do a, uh, 
uh, seared tuna sandwich uh, for you. You can start with uh, my special house seasoning, which has all kinds of stuff in it. So, so we're gonna throw this down. And uh, you know, tuna doesn't need much. Yeah. You know, you, you just kind of want to get it a couple of minutes on each side. Especially if you're gonna sear it, you don't need to cook it. Really yeah, well. no, no. Mike, can you give us some basic cooking tips when working with fish? Yeah, no, absolutely. First off, you know, the biggest uh, thing you don't want to do is overcook. You don't want it falling apart. You don't want it dry. And you know, every every protein that you're cooking, whether it be beef, poultry, fish, there's a carryover element to it. So you want to kind of pull it just before you think it's done, and you kind of just let it hang out, and then the residual heat will take care of what you want. And see right here, like you just mm -hmm. want that part cooked and just a little there, and you want to keep that. You want to keep that rare. That looks good. All right, we're gonna go with that roasted jalapeno tartar and give this a nice. You know, you you really want this stuff on there. Mm. And we're gonna have some fresh baby arugula here. Just a little bit of rice wine vinegar, just give it a give it a little give it a little life. I like to build sandwiches from the bottom up. I mean, people have their way, but this is kind of like how I like to do it. So we're gonna add a little fresh arugula here, some tomato, some sliced red onion. That looks pretty. And we're gonna get our. Tuna, stick that sucker on there. That's a mega sandwich there. Yeah. Mike, this looks delicious. Thank I gotta you. try this oh, one. Oh, please do. I, I would, I, I really like that one. Your tartar sauce looks awesome. Thank you, sir. I had a feeling that would be the reaction. <laughs> Why haven't you cooked for me before? I don't know, but we have a lot of catching up to do, apparently. Known each other over 40 years. That's, that, yeah, shh. Oh, a uh, little side story. Danny was the manager of my very first band in high school called <laughs> Cyrus Rain. Yeah, that oh, was a we, long time ago. Uh, we used to do dastardly stuff together. That was great. That's some good stuff. <laughs> All right, let them know a little bit about the band. All right, Drama Rama. Color TV, new album. It's available at Amazon and your local mom and pop shops. Please, and if, and if you check need to try out Mike's food, he makes meals to go, pre-made meals, catering. I even come to your house if you'd like. Kopi's Kitchen, on Facebook page. Kopi's Kitchen. Kopi's Kitchen. All right, thanks, Mike. Well, thanks. let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Lift, 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 lift. Matthew, Sport with fishing the with Dan thing. Hernandez on the legend. Woo! Wind down. Wind down. Back line, back line. Oh, I barely got him. Uh. He's on the <laughs> yeah! The legend with Dan Hernandez and team! Bring him up. <laughs> Chris. With Chris. Here with Dan Hernandez Sport Fishing. 
one down. There you go. There you go, Richie. Come on, Richie. Don't let him get you like that. <laughs> There he is, right there. He won't walk in one. There's my fish right there. There we go. Sit back, sit back. Get in the light. All right, Ollie, good job, man. Good job, so here's my tuna, I just landed it. Ollie did a great job, stuck it for me right here. It's a beautiful fish, worked really hard to get this fish. It's an awesome fish. Well, I want to thank Captain Steve, the whole crew, Ollie, Rich, all the guys, Joey, did a great job getting us on the fish today. Lots of fun fishing out here on the Legend. Now, we're going to keep fishing because we're expecting a good night bite tonight. So we're gonna keep fishing, it's an early morning. So I wanna say goodbye to you guys, but join us next week for part two of our fishing adventures here aboard the Legend, where we'll be getting more tuna like this. So I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week for part two of our multi-day excursion out here, actually a day and a half trip on the Legend catching tuna like this. See you next week, right here.